Shortly after, well, the shepherd comes over. He was as Mycenaean as you can get with a little mica on the skin. Scaly mica. No, no organized hot baths and showers at that time. He discovered his lost and well stoned goat turned sheep. Beside the strange earth hissing <laughs> vapor, overcome by the psychedelic fumes. And the goat wasn't even going to the dentist, just suck up the nitrous oxide. Never encountered it before. And so the, the shepherd, like curious, he stuck his head into the chasm and kind of big dose and he started to whoop, 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 whoop. like a dog uh, well the word soon got out <laughs> yeah when the shepherd went back huh he'd never been so happy in his life and you know he was like a an enlightened greek god yeah in the 11 to 13 second range he he, he got there well, in the nearby town of Delphi, the word got out that you could get stoned for, 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 for free up by the Castilian Spring, run nine out of the Papadian Gorge, down the Plato's Gorge. Up. We'll just get up there, you know. Um, and every full moon thereafter, mm -hmm, hundreds of peasants from Delphi wandered up to the, you know, up of this dangerous little mountain track to the place where you could get, put your head down and get stoned for free uh, from the intoxicating vapor from the mysterious chasm. And these giddy stone peasants, huh? They'd resurface from the chasm cross-eyed, crowing like roosters, <laughs> braying like wild donkeys. My animal impersonations, I just can't go there. To bray like a donkey. I just kind of imagine what that would sound like. Yeah. Delphinians tripped out to the max. Inhaling the hissing Mother Earth vapor by the Castilian Spring and turned into <laughs> party animals of antiquity. Yeah. Full moon Bacchanalia. Very Greek. Get out of your mind and fuck a lot while you're <coughs> intoxicated. No, amongst those no, uh, lonely nether lips, mm -hmm, get down into 69 town and you, you can even bang, bang that village girl next door in an orgy and a debauchery. <laughs> yeah. I mean, our hippie hedonistic roots, okay? Uh, this went on for five generations and nobody got busted. It just got, shh, 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 don't tell them down at the port in Kira. Okay, until what happened? The great shipwreck? The great shipwreck of 1269 BC? Because a drowsy ship captain, he had puffy eyes? Because... He was an op opium smuggler from the deadly Shang Dynasty, from the mighty Waho River. Yeah, um, puffy-eyed crew as well. They were all just gone on opium. Huh? Well, what were they doing there anyway in Greece? 
Why didn't they stay home like good Wang Ho? Yeah, he was slumped over the steering wheel. Kept him so stunned. He's like dripped over the steering wheel like a Salvador Dali watch. Dripped over a tree branch. Any of you know anything about art out there? Salvador Dali? He crashed his ship on the rocks mm -hmm. near the village of Kira in the Gulf of Corinth. Mm -hmm. What happened to all the Chinese shipmates and the captain? Drowned. Their story's over. Yeah. And the damaged cargo? Well, it didn't really have anywhere to go but the shore. You know, they're in a gulf. Eventually, it's going to wash up somewhere, right? Uh, in Kira, which is just 14 kilometers down the hill from Delphi. Delphi is like way, 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 way. Oh, ouch! On Mount Parnassus. Sure. Um, and Kira is at sea level on the shore of the Gulf. Uh, sleazy Shang merchants, these guys were. Sleazy, yeah. Mm -hmm. They had been transporting bizarre Asian animals. For the pleasure palaces of the kings of Mesopotamia. <laughs> Egypt <coughs> and Manoa. Minoans, you ever heard of Crete? Crete, Gnosis, Minotaur. Look, uh, the only thing that survived that was alive was a splendid Komodo dragon that clung to the splintered mast. Still alive, half drowned, but made it to shore. Komodo dragon. Oh, uh, 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 uh. a full-grown Komodo dragon weighs 135 kilos. I have no idea how many pounds that is, but it's, 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 don't try to pick it up without a back brace first. Weightlifting belt. And it stretches three meters. Ten feet. From head to tail. Can you imagine? It's supposed to be a lizard. It's more like a monster nightmare coming right at you. They're the largest ri lizards in the world. Oh, yeah. And rare. They only occur on Komodo Island and the lesser Sundra Islands in the Indonesian archipelago. Look, these Komodo dragons, huh? Is that stout necked with a powerful tail like a crocodile? Short, stout legs. Komodo dragons, huh? Powerful. Humans, they attack and eat them on a lunch break. Give me a human. I could use a, a flesh snack. They're bloodthirsty, carnivores, and they have a weakness for goats and sheep. And what's everywhere around here, and you can't get rid of them in Greece? Goats and sheep? I mean, they even live in my cave when I'm not home? So... What happened then? There's the Komodo dragon, half a drowned. 